The project is development of lightweight concrete using pumice stone. We would like to thank our guide, Mr. C. Suresh of ME Civil Department. The objective of our project is to develop a lightweight concrete to determine whether pumice stone lightweight concrete can be used as a structural concrete to determine the compressive strength and tensile strength of lightweight concrete having density below than 1800 kg per meter cube. The scope of the project uh, is to study the lightweight concrete. Lightweight concrete is a contemporary topic in the concrete industry. As lightweight concrete has less dead weight, it becomes uh, utmost importance to the construction industry in order to decrease the self weight of the building. Lightweight concrete can be defined as a type of concrete which includes an expanding agent in it that increases the volume of the mixture while reducing the dead weight. It is lighter than the conventional concrete with a dry density of 300 kg per meter cube up to 1840 kg per meter cube. The main specialities of lightweight concrete are its low density and low thermal conductivity. The advantage of lightweight concrete is that is a, it has less dead weight, easy to handle, thermal insulator, sound insulator, fire resistant. The main disadvantage is that it is slightly costlier than the conventional concrete. These are the few literatures that we have referred. The methodology is as it goes like a collection of literature about lightweight concrete collection of raw materials, mix design, casting, curing and testing of cubes, test result and the conclusion. The raw materials that we have required for the project is the ordinary Portland cement, sand, pumice and water. Pumice stone as lightweight aggregate. The word pumice is a general term used for range of porous materials produced during volcanic eruptions. Pumice stone can be weak and porous or sometimes strong and less porous. It, has light, it is a lightweight aggregate of low specific gravity. This is the pumice aggregate that we have used. The mix ratio is as M20. The specific gravity of cement is 3.17. Specific gravity of coarse aggregate is 2.82. Of fine aggregate is 2.63. Shape of coarse aggregate is angular. The grade of cement that we used is OPC 53 grade. The water absorption of uh, coarse aggregate is 0.206. Water absorption of fine aggregate is 1%. The water cement ratio is 0.50. The quantity of water we have used is 180.42 liter per meter cube. And the cement is 362.43 kilogram per meter cube. The fine aggregate is 584 kilogram per meter cube. And coarse aggregate is 1223.8 kilogram per meter cube. This is the mix ratio. 1 is to 1.62 is to 3.12. The specimens are casted in the ratio of 10%, 20%, 30%, 40%, 40% and 50% respectively, with each ratio comprising of 9 cubes, 3 cylinders for the curing period of 7, 14 and 28 days. These are the specimens. After casting, the specimens were cured and after the curing period, the materials were tested the testing procedure of specimens. The entire specimens which include 45 cubes and 12 cylinders were tested to check the compressive strength and the split tensile strength. This, the cube specimens were tested, the readings were noted and the compressive strength was calculated. The compression test result for 7 days is that it goes like 10% it is 12.73 Newton per mm square. For 20% it is 10.99 Newton per mm square. For 30, it is 9.40 Newton per mm square. For 40, it is 8.55 Newton per mm square. For 50, it is 7.7 .7 Newton per mm square. And the graph has been plotted for the 7 day result. And for the 7, 14 days compression test result, for 10% replacement, it is 13.97 Newton per mm square. For 20, it is 13.35 Newton per mm square. For 30, it is 12.77 Newton per mm square. For 40, it is 11.24 Newton per mm square. 450 is 9.73 Newton per mm square and the result of for the graph is plotted and again for the 20 days compressive test result for 10% it is 19.7 Newton per mm square for 20 is 18.47 Newton per mm square for 30 is 17.25 Newton per mm square for 40 is 14.91 Newton per mm square 
for 50 it is 12.59 newton per mm square and the graph for the 28 day result is here when we compare it with the conventional concrete uh, the compression test result for the conventional is uh, 13.32 for 7 days is curing period for 14 days it is 18.4 newton per mm square for 28 days it is 23.92 newton per mm square the comparison graph for the lightweight concrete and conventional concrete is as shown for the split and size strength uh, the cylinder the cylinder specimens were tested uh, the split tensile strength of the respective cylinders were calculated the result for the seven days of split tensile test is as shown for 14 days is also given and for 28 days is also over here and we also plotted the comparison graph for seven days 14 days and 28 days we have arrived to the conclusion uh, from the uh, from a project uh, that the compressive strength of lightweight concrete is found to be at desired values for 10%, 20%, and 30% replacement. But 40% and 50% replacement of normal aggregate with a pumice aggregate gives least compressive strength uh, with more reduction in weight of concrete. Henceforth, 10%, 20%, and 30% replacement can be effectively used for structural purpose. Whereas the replacement of 40% and 50% can be used for, for non-structural purpose only. Thank you.